racing north across the frozen Arctic Sea on a Russian army chopper. The Russians are making a huge effort to upgrade their military infrastructure in the Arctic. Several of their bases are already fully operational, and right now they're flying us to one of their most modern ones. They call this base Northern Clover. The Russian army has already deployed coastal defense rockets here and specialized Arctic anti-aircraft systems built to perform in the cold. This complex is adapted for much harsher weather conditions of the Arctic. It works in temperatures as low as negative 50 degrees. It's all part of Vladimir Putin's long-term strategy to dominate the Arctic. The space has a clear mission to defend and enable Russia's interests in the Arctic North. And as the ice here becomes weaker because of global warming, those economic interests are becoming more important. The Northern Clover base is in a strategic location in Russia's Arctic Far East. It seems remote until you look at the world from the top and see that this base is one of Russia's closest to U.S. territory. The base can house up to 250 soldiers. Aside from its weapons arsenal, it also has high-powered radars to make sure America and its allies don't come close. Russia is pouring major resources into its Arctic endeavor. It's the only country with a fleet of nuclear icebreakers to open up and control Arctic trade routes that could make trade between Asia and the West much faster and cheaper. And Russia is already tapping into natural resources in the Arctic like liquid natural gas, even deploying floating nuclear power stations to fuel its Arctic ambitions. Our base performs radar control, monitors the airspace, secures the Northern Sea route, and eliminates damage to the environment. The Trump administration seems woefully inequipped to counter Russia's Arctic endeavors. While Moscow is expanding and fortifying its position in this vital area, America and its allies lack even the same ice-breaking power of Russia's fleet. Fred Plake in CNN on Katelny Island in Russia's Arctic North.